you find that when people do comply with those long-term diet changes that their recurrence rate is lower? I do. And the recurrence rate in SIBO, you know, published chance of that is about 44%. Uh -huh. wow. That's pretty significant. That is, yeah. And I do believe a lot of that comes back down to diet um, and how we're breaking down and digesting our food. So mm -hmm. there's other components besides just what we eat. Mm -hmm. um, it may be as simple as replenishing some good digestive enzymes or HCL and pepsin um, in order to help break that process down a little bit better because as yep. we age, some of those things tend to yep. not occur as well. Mm -hmm. um, but 44% is significant. So when yeah. patients, I think, understand that, they're a little more apt when they know how miserable they felt and then realize how great they felt right. afterward yeah. to stick to it a little bit okay. more. Okay, all right, great.